Well, right now we're in this tunnel where the young men come through to go onto the court to play the game. I sit here so that I don't get hit with the ball. And I don't talk to anybody during while the game is going on. I'm too intense upon watching those young men get that ball into that basket. Her presence is something that is felt every single day and it's awesome and it makes the players just have that little extra boost of confidence, of momentum going into games, going into practice even. My dream started when I was in third grade. We had a wonderful sister and she told us that we were not too young to be thinking about what we wanted to do when we grew up. So I used to say, please God, tell me what you want me to do, but tell me you want me to be a BVM sister. Everyone loves Sister Jean. Like she represents like our values, and like she's the embodiment of compa of compassion. You know, that's how I like to think about her. Um, have a fantastic rest of your day. Oh, I I will. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I have a good day every day. Yeah. I I just would like to say that they they should be happy people. That's what I want them to be: happy people, and just to love God, and knowing that God loves them. Marquise, I was happy to see Marquise did so well. So, yeah, they all, they all do. I think sports are very important because they help develop life skills. And during those life skills, you're also talking about faith and, and purpose. I would like to see them go to the NCAA again. And I'd like to see that happen because it means so much to those young people. You talk about being there at 103, it's because it's a passion for her. It's, it's about love. Um, and I think when you do something for your life that you're committed with, with love and integrity, people love to be around people like that. So I think they should be telling stories about her forever.